Colonel for Zachary Butterworth Toast by Charles Causley. Colonel for Zachary Butterworth Toast bought an old castle complete with a ghost. But someone or other forgot to declare to Colonel for Zach that the spectre was there. On the very first evening, while waiting to dine, the colonel was taking a fine sherry wine. When the ghost, with a furious flash and a flare, shot out of the chimney and shivered, Beware! Colonel Fazakali put down his glass and said, My dear fellow, that's really first class. I just can't conceive how you do it at all. I imagine you're going to a fancy dress ball? At this, the dread ghost made a withering cry. Said the colonel, his monocle firm in his eye, Now just how you do it, I wish I could think. Do sit down and tell me. And please have a drink. The ghost, in his phosphorus cloak, gave a roar and floated about between ceiling and floor. He walked through a wall and returned through a pane and backed up the chimney and came down again. Said the colonel, with laughter, I'm feeling quite weak, as trickles of merriment ran down his cheek. My housewarming party, I hope you won't spurn. You must say you'll come and you'll give us a turn. At this, the poor spectre, quite out of his wits, proceeded to shake himself almost to bits. He rattled his chains and he clattered his bones, and he filled the whole castle with mumbles and moans. But Colonel Fazakali, just as before, was simply delighted and called out, Encore! At which the ghost vanished, his efforts in vain, and never was seen at the castle again. Oh dear, what a pity, said Colonel Fazak. I don't know his name, so I can't call him back. And then, with a smile that was hard to define, Colonel Fazakali went in to dine.